to the show. We're talking about distance learning. Zanthi Pinkerton from the Elk Grove Unified School District, one of the biggest in California. If you have a question, 916-321-3310. All right, Zanthi, right back to the uh, text, and thanks for playing along with us today. Any educational tips for parents when teaching their kids from home? How can the parents be a good facilitator when they're also doing the online? Well, the number one thing really is listening and learning um, and just offering that encouragement to your student when they struggle with what they're learning. That's actually a good thing. Um, so little hands off and let them learn and let them struggle a little bit is probably one of the more important things as well as just listening to them and engaging with them and being interested in, in what they're learning and allow them to tell you what they're learning about. So, you know, really at the younger levels, it's important for numeracy and literacy. And that means really just reading to them, singing with them and listening to them mm -hmm. and um, those kinds of things for younger students. Numeracy, doing simple things like counting, mm -hmm. um, going over numbers, adding basic things. Okay. Those, are, those are things parents can do at home. Um, but encouragement is one of the most important thing mm -hmm. and allowing them time to um, struggle through a little bit of the content that they need to um, gets them to really become curious gets them to want to you know, learn more and also um, look for answers as opposed to being given an answer. Okay, I have three of, three of them at home now. Uh, and I think structure is important at this time because you know, they're just getting into the online program from, from mm -hmm. Sac City. What about the hours? How can we set up study hours? How does that work? Yeah, exactly. One of the things that we've put out there, our family and community engagement uh, team has put out there is it is important to create a routine, especially if there's parents who are going to be remote working. Everybody needs to set up a, a daily routine. It also establishes normalcy at home. So um, making sure that there are set times when you're going to be studying or when a student's going to be studying as well as making sure there's times for breaks and physical activity and healthy habits. Those are also very important. So mm -hmm. a regular schedule, whatever that is, whatever that regular schedule needs to be with distance learning, students are mostly going to be offline and learning um, on you know, given certain assignments that they have to complete. And so a schedule can be worked around that. And then teachers will usually be checking in, doing mm -hmm. office hours um, and those kinds of things. So a regular schedule is important. Okay. Physical activity and um, definitely just communication on a regular basis. Is Elk Grove going with the grading system uh, going forward till the end of the year? Or uh, I know I think with Sacramento City, it's going to be pass fail. Right. Uh, we're going to continue with what we've done. No different um, with grades, et cetera. Um, of course, we know that um, this is a particular time of adversity. There's been adversity. There's been a disruption in their learning, um, and teachers are mindful of that. But we're going to get through. We've already closed our books for a third quarter. We're moving into fourth quarter, and we'll be doing that. Mm -hmm. uh, in Elk Grove Unified, you know, education is very important, um, and I think all of the schools out there find education very important. And it, a grade is one measure. Um, of success, but there are also other things that we do and okay. that we look for when it comes to looking at student success. Okay, next one, uh, the kids are at home, they're doing the online distance learning, and they're sick. Do you, how do you report an absence from distance learning? Oh, sure. An absence would be reported no different than it's already been reported. You can simply call into the school, report the absence, or you can email in the information to the um, to the school administration. Okay. What about preschool distance learning? Is that being offered by Elk Grove? Uh, well, in essence, it, it it is. Most of our younger students from a schooling basics uh, basis are going to be transitional kindergarten, kindergarten, and those students will be receiving packets. Um, that those will be going, uh, there will be a distribution of packets for our younger our younger students. Mm -hmm. In the preschool area, it sort of depends, but distance learning just means that a teacher is in one location and the student is in a different far you know, distance location. Okay. So there will be packets prepared for our younger kids um, being in TK and K. Is there anything for a special education students, speech? Yes. Yes, absolutely. There are many things that we're working on right now where uh, we see that distance learning doesn't necessarily mean it's full digital. There'll be other kinds of things that we'll be providing similar to what we're doing with um, you know, our younger grade levels, TKK, mm -hmm. where um, they need a slightly different approach, um, but still being mindful of our social distancing and mm -hmm. the mitigation orders that are in place. Okay, Zanthi Pinkerton, Elk Grove. Zanthi, thank you. 
Uh, been a nice visit. We do appreciate all your uh, expertise in distance learning. Coming up, we'll be joined by Dr. Jeff Gusky answering your medical questions about coronavirus. But first, if you're looking for ways to donate and giving back to the community, join ABC 10 and the United Way of California, helping our neighbors by donating to the COVID-19 relief fund. 100% of what you give stays locally. You can donate now at abc10.com slash COVID relief or on the ABC 10 app. have joy because you give so much to these wonderful people. This show